Well, welcome back. We're joined this morning with Howard Bass of True Safari, a group of musicians who are keeping the sound of historic Jewish music alive. Well, they're here to speak to us more about the history of your music, mm. what do you play, and of course, the amazing events that you have prepared for us this weekend. Good morning, Mr. Bass. Thank you uh, for joining us here. All right. Well, Good morning. First, I want to ask you, you're such a specific trio and the type of music that you play. Tell yeah. us about it. Yeah, we play a, a, what some people call a niche music, <laughs> yeah. a very small niche music called Sephardic music. Um, the Sephardic Jews were the Jews of Spain. And um, when they were exiled in 1492, mm -hmm. that amazing year, yes. yeah. um, uh, they dispersed to various places. Uh, mostly throughout the Mediterranean, uh, North Africa, uh, the southern coast of Europe, and in particular in the Ottoman Empire in the eastern Mediterranean. And uh, they took with them very little. They were, were not allowed to take their material goods with them for the most part. So what they took with them was their material culture, mm -hmm. their, uh, their, their music, their language, their customs, their religion. And in these new places where they settled, they kept a lot of those traditions alive. And um, so we're playing music that comes from those communities that mm -hmm. existed uh, for 500 years following the expulsion. Um, the music is, the, the songs are sung in a language now called Ladino, mm -hmm. which is Jewish Spanish. Oh, okay. Jewish wow. Spanish, uh, sometimes known as Judeo Espanol. What calls you to Sephardic music? You know, it is, like you said, a very niche sound. It's a niche community. What, what drew that to you guys to that sound? I, I think the main motivation for, for all of us, we, we had various connections mm. to the music uh, in different ways um, through, for example, for me and for Tina, um, Tina Chancy, uh, early music was our sort of our bread, our meat and potatoes for mm -hmm. a long time. Um, Susan came to it from more of a folk tradition. Okay. Uh, and where we sort of came together was really through a, a woman named Flory Jagoda. Flory was born in uh, Sarajevo, Bosnia. That's my neck of the woods. That's Carla's <laughs> neck of the woods. Okay. Former Yugoslavia. Yes. She was born in 1923. Um, she grew up in a, a very close-knit musical family where she began to learn songs at an early age from her grandmother, her Nona. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's a long story, but uh, to make it short, she ended up li marrying an American soldier at the end of World War II, and they ended up living in Northern Virginia. Flory became a, a well-known figure in Jewish music, in particular in Sephardic mm -hmm. music. She was known as the, f the keeper of the flame of mm. Sephardic music. And I gotta ask you real quickly, you sure. are performing here real quickly for our viewers. Yes. Where are you guys performing and when? Okay, tomorrow night, Saturday night, we're playing at the Sunset Parlor at 8.30 p.m. And we're doing a, a program called Roots and Branches. And we'll be doing some of the music that we learned God. from Flory Jagoda. It's going to be so fun. And we're going to get a little taste of it later. We're going to get a taste of it right after this break. Mr. Vass, thank you so much thank for joining you. us this morning. Thank Don't go you. anywhere. We'll be right back.